What's up everyone, the 5 dude back on your screen. Now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 158. So starting off today we have a girl who freaked out after her boyfriend caught her cheating red handed. Now you might wonder how he ended up catching her. He actually followed her on WhatsApp because she left her location on. No! What the f*** you cheating on? This your shit? This your shit? Why are you cheating on me? Answer the question. Michael. Answer the question. Why not? Answer the question. Why are you cheating on me? I don't fucking love you. Can you just leave? All right, let me give you some explanation behind this clip. So basically, this guy caught his side chick cheating on him. Not his actual girlfriend, but his side chick. When he caught her, he decided to destroy her Range Rover that he bought for her. It's honestly just a messed up situation. And yeah, I just don't know what to think of it. Despite women consistently saying, we don't want to be in relationships with men who do this, this and that to us. They're like, not all men. Basically denying our reality that we know to be true. The problem is when you look at what women actually do, you can see that a lot of them don't have that much of a problem with how men act. Like think of the big like Chad guy that you know, he gets more women than like your typical normal guy. That's why the whole nice guys finish last stereotype exists. And this is especially false for the really attractive women. Like they always go for douchebags, which is weird because I'd expect the most attractive women, the ones who have the most power over men because they can have any man they want to be the most active feminists, pushing these changes forward and influencing the behaviors of men, but they're not. So this whole idea of men are living in a delusion of what women actually want is not true because the most self-aware men who understand women the best don't automatically get the best women. Instead, it's usually the chats that get the best women. So I think the call is coming from inside the house on this one. Why is your stomach out? Hey. Hey. Are you ready to go? Yeah, after dinner, do you want to go to the gym with me? Um, not really. Why? I mean, I feel like you've gained some weight since I saw you last. Are you serious? Yeah, it's the freshman 15, not the freshman 50. How dare you? Why do you think most relationships fail? Because most girls are for being honest. Like, I mean, you look at it time and time again, and girls are cheating on dudes. I mean, I got cheated on. So it's just like, it's just what happens. Um, I mean, guys cheat too, obviously. But there's always someone who's cheating, usually. I mean, not always, but typically, yeah. What do you think led up to your girl cheating on you? Uh, shit. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I would say it's because she's just if I'm being dead honest, and uh, I look through it, and, uh, and I mean, there's a lot of people that are just they're so. Getting cheated on is absolutely the biggest problem nowadays why relationships don't work. People don't really seem to have any moral and they don't really seem to care about their relationships nowadays. And how it differs, where for men, they often just like isolate themselves, don't see anyone, they definitely don't date or see anyone else, and they just like never speak to another human being, lift, contemplate, become a philosopher, monk, man. Meanwhile, for women, they'll have their period of grief and then they'll start dating pretty quick again on average. So then with the men's side, they just sit and they ruminate on what happened, who the ex was. And when you ruminate on the past a lot, you tend to build up this person in your head, especially when you're not interacting with new people. So that ex seems even larger than life. And then it gets to the point where they're so much larger than life and there's so much in the past that they just end up like this idyllic figure that a man can't get over. I don't know about you guys, but I've personally never felt that way. Break it to you. I, I think that we've just got a, a very, very selfish culture. I do not have a problem with women worldwide. I have a problem with Western women. And if you think that I'm just like making this up out of nowhere, reflect on the fact that there are Western men that are flying out East to find wives. Are Eastern men coming out West to find wives? No. Where in the world are men flying out in droves to marry American women? Nobody wants us. Why? We're big, we're selfish. We don't want to hear anything. You can't tell me to eat less. You can't tell me to change my life. You can't tell me it's not about me. 
Yep, she's absolutely right. There are just too many entitled women in the world right now. Bank accounts, they can't be trusted. They're buying clothes, they're buying watches, they're buying cars. And look, they don't deserve it. We should have control of all the money, all the riches, all of it. It's ours. Agreed, ladies? Word. All he's going to do with this bank account and the money sitting in there as it piles up, he's just going to think about going to the strip club and spending it on the strippers. That's all he's going to use it for, so he's not going to use it for anything good, so he doesn't need it. Sorry, it's ours. We have full control. How often do you have to put guys in the friend zone? Like, friend zone, yeah. You never put any guy in the friend I'm zone? Kidding, yeah, 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 yeah. You have I want you to call one of these said guys that you put in the friend zone and ask them if they want to hook up tonight. Okay. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Um, this is a really weird question, but do you want to hook yeah. up? Like tonight, do you want to hook up? What do you mean? Like, um, uh, like I'm just like really sad right now, and like I need someone to, like hook up. Hook up? Like, do you want to me or not? Oh, um, I'm sorry, but I don't want to see his friend. I'm happy for this guy he actually rejected her. It would have been really sad if he actually said yes and nothing would have ever happened. Basically giving him false hope. This hookup story. One time a guy spit in my face and then f***ed me. What? And I was low-key speechless. And you left. No, I didn't leave. No. If somebody in the face and spit on me. I would uh, be turned off. Me personally, I no. would leave. I was just so surprised I couldn't even like react. Oh, to it. Was, was like, he role playing? No, he was just crazy. He was crazy. What happened to the guy? I hooked up with him after. On multiple uh, guys hey, at once. You got a girlfriend? No. Wait till the uh, end. Then I'm gonna get your number. Why? Cause I asked you for your number. Okay. What's your name? My name's Jess. Nice Jess. To meet you. Nice to meet you, Ata. What are you going to do with my number? Call you if I get bored or something. Wait okay. for it. What are you doing later? Um, I don't know. Whatever you're doing. All right. All right. So I'm going to call you. Call me. Um, excuse me. I'm getting guys' numbers. Um, and can I get your number? And that's why you shouldn't just give your number out to just anyone. She's making it look way too easy, to be honest. Uh, I told you to take out the f***ing trash. You're starting to sound like my ex-wife. I didn't know you were married before you met me. I wasn't. What you handing me this for? Your turn to pay for the food. It's who turn to pay for the food? Your turn. Why would it be my turn to pay for the food when I'm here with my man? Because I always pay for the food. I can't hear you what? I always pay for the food. You always pay for the food? Yeah. I always pay for the food. I ain't paying for it. Bitch. You not paying for it? No, it's okay. It's only $50. Well, pay for it. Well, pay for it. Yeah. Why would I have to pay for anything if I'm here with my man? You are my man. You're supposed to pay for everything. I don't pay for everything else, so you can pay for the food. You what? I don't pay for everything else. So I got to pay you. I got to go in my pocketbook and get out $50. You can't pay $50? Nope. Okay, well, I'm leaving then. What? Oh, but you might as well go ahead and call the server and see who's going to wash dishes because it ain't going to be me. I'm not paying $50 for this. What? I ain't either. You ain't either? I'm paying for this. Okay. He said he's not paying Mama. for it. So, so what he needed, what he said that I'm the woman, he been paying for everything all weekend, and now he want me to pay for it, and it's only $50, sit back some, so he can, it's only $50, so what do you think? What, what you want me to pay for it? Nah, he need to go wash dishes or something, right? Body count? Uh, probably like 56. She belongs to the streets. Really? Yeah. Girl? Is that bad? I mean, do you think it's bad? I've heard of worse. I mean, 56? What, okay, out of those 56, what has been done to you? You want to make it a 57? <laughs> what? Bro, what? What is not going to hurt? You're already up there. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.